Hey, beautiful people. I have a message. Do you have ears to hear? You do? All right. <clears throat> it's a beautiful Sunday. Very beautiful. This is where we all need to be outside, okay? Smelling that good ass prana for real. Hey, hey. Let me lock this door. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a quick walk and talk if you don't mind. I want to share with many of you. This has been on my heart to speak about. And um, before I get started, I don't know everything, but I know what I know due to, you know, me sharing my testimony, due to me having a spiritual awakening and what came out of the awakening as far as receiving downloads and information that has come to me. And it's not really just for me. It is for me to know, but also it is for me to share with my brothers and sisters, for those who have ears to hear, okay? So if you're watching me, um, yeah, most people, they are spiritual, okay? We're not religious, religious. And um, every now and then I get some people who are religious, well, um, click on, you know, click on at your own risk. I love you, but click on at your own risk. We're going outside the box, okay? Now, um... I do readings on this side, okay? All this came out of my gift. I've always had paranormal experiences coming up as a child, all right? And um, as I got older, you know, I started going through a change, a spiritual change. Some call it Dominate the Soul. Um, and out of that, a change, a rebirth, as well as many people started, um, as well as myself, started experiencing uh, a spiritual awakening. And um, a change came out of that as well, okay? So um, from there, um, it was like a snowball effect of me having all kind of experiences, synchronicity happening, you know, one at a time, all right? And it can be quite overwhelming. That's why we have to always stay grounded. So anyway, this reading is pretty much, um, I want to speak about rituals, okay? Um, Many people do them. All rituals are not bad, okay? It's pretty much one interpretation of a ritual, whether they perceive it as being positive or not positive, good or bad. Um, There's one that's very, very popular, okay? Many people, um, when they come to people like myself, okay, they like... Um, what you call them, seers, uh, everybody have a name for it, okay? Psychics, mediums, um, you name it, okay? They, are, they will uh, approach a spiritual guru, let me just say that, all right? Or a teacher. And it's not really so much of them seeking clarity about their own life, but um, they're pretty much worrying about somebody else um, that's dear to them. And they want to be close to the individual. So where I'm going with this, many people would, you know, come to people like myself seeking relationship readings, okay? And many people not only just want relationship readings, they want to take a little farther. You know, if a person like myself is into, you know, um, giving out so-called rituals, um, steps to take for them to, you know, uh, claim the heart of the individual, of their intentions, well, that's what they want. I mean, they see this individual at the prize, okay? And um, they want what they want, okay? They want, they want a love, a potion, a love spell. And let me just say this real quick. I don't partake in love potion, love spells, and love rituals. I don't partake in all of that. Um... 
for those who do, this is a non-judging zone. Do you, okay? But what I have learned, but I have learned family. See, I do readings when it comes to the missing as well as crime readings, okay? I do all kind of readings. And I think the most of God for allowing me to be the voice for the voiceless and to use this gift for the good, okay? For the good, because a lot of good comes out of it. It, it shed lights on the darkness, let me just say that. And um, I notice I get, I, I would do a lot of reads when it comes to relationships, how a lot of, uh, let, let's get the walk. Let me, let me walk, okay? I, I want to walk with this one right here. <clears throat> a lot of um, women that I do readings on that goes missing, okay? A lot of them are in, in relationships, okay? And the relationships are quite toxic. And um, they went into these relationships because they loved the individual, okay? They got with them for whatever reason. They chose to stay with them for whatever reason, even though they saw all the red flags. But they wanted to be with this person because they love them, okay? <clears throat> anyway, so... When the unthinkable starts to happen, when they get to the point to where they want out of the relationship, the person that they wanted so bad to be with, okay? For one thing, they didn't see it coming. But the person that they end up being with, right, they get obsessed with them. And they get so obsessed with them, they lose all sight of common sense. They lose all sight of knowledge of self. Uh, they just lose all sight of... Um, right and wrong okay all they know is that they want this person they don't want to lose this person and it's pretty much like you know if I can't have you no one else can okay and what can come out of this is a person will get so obsessed with you they can get so obsessed with you that they would kill you and take you out, okay? It's like they have a stronghold on them. They have a, a, a weird stronghold on them, and um, they can't shake it. They have a mental conflict. It's hard for them to get over something or someone, and that someone is you, okay? All of a sudden, they are obsessed over you. And as I stated, the unthinkable happened, okay? They become very obsessed. They start stalking the person that they're, you know, that they um, want to be with, um, that no longer wants them due to rejection. A lot of people have a, a hard time with rejection. Uh, they start stalking the, um, I'm, I'm going to say the victim because they end up taking the individual out, but they become so obsessed and crazy and they lose sight of logic, okay? Um, it's like it went out the door. Now, the point I'm trying to make is, I know y'all like, okay, Corinne, you know, get with it, sister, okay? I've noticed <clears throat> when I'm doing these readings on these women, the spirit reveals to me a lot of them be doing rituals, okay? Like love spells. And you'd be surprised who's into things like this. And I'm not here to judge nobody, but it can be very dangerous as well, okay? Um, there are all kind of rituals out here. Let me just say that. There are all kind of rituals out here. And... You know, all you know is that you want what you want, but, you know, there are consequences to doing rituals, um, especially when it's not in alignment, meaning you want what you want, you're rushing, and you're not going by the right way. You know, I always say, set your intentions out there, and you are what you attract, especially if you love yourself. You know, you're going to draw somebody to you that's going to authentic, authentically authentically love you the way you love you. The way you see yourself, that's what you're going to draw to you. Someone who sees you in the same way you see yourself. You know, you value yourself. You're going to meet someone who value you the same way. So anyway, but you're letting it happen naturally. You're not trying to force it. That's the point I'm trying to make. Energy needs to flow. It can't be forced. All right? And... 
you know, there are compli- you know, there are repercussions when we're trying to force things. All right, it, it must be natural, family. It must be natural. Some things just can't be forced, you know, because the end result won't be where it, it won't turn out the way you want it to turn out. So when these women are doing these so-called rituals on a guy that they want, for some reason, you know, they're not able to uh, get this man attention the the normal way, okay, the natural way. You know, they want to force it. So they, you know, tap into the spirit realm and, you know, they want to do all these so-called rituals to get this person attention. And when they do this, you know, due to the complications of this, they, um, the snowball effect of karma comes back their way in a negative way. All right. The person ended up being obsessed over them and they just lose their mind and they don't even know why they're acting the way they're acting. All they know is that they have like a stronghold on them, which they do, a spiritual stronghold. They have a stronghold on them and they are so obsessed with this individual. OK, they're so obsessed that they can't see from the forest, from the trees and they have that mindset, if I can't have you, nobody else can, okay? And they are so willing to take them out. Even though they say they love them, they're willing to take them out. They can't have them. So, you know, please, family, I know many of you, you know, are drawn to certain people that you, you know, um, may have, you know, crushes on let me just say that you may have a crush on an individual oh you know he's fine oh she's cute whatever the case may be okay you have your reason why you're drawn to certain people but it must have the attraction must be natural um the vibration must be natural with you and this individual okay you definitely must be equally yoked i'm just saying all right because you end up John the wrong kind of individuals to you. All you know is that you want them, but you don't know that person's heart. You don't know their mindset. You know, you don't know what's inside this individual. All you know is that you want what you want. So you do these spells, these rituals. You go to people, you know, with these so-called, you're trying to get love potions and all of this. And that shit can backfire on you. Okay, let's just call it for what it is. It can backfire on you and not in a good way. Okay, before you know it, this person that you wanted so bad is obsessed over you. To where uh, they're stalking you, they're harassing you. Okay, you can't get rid of them. They keep calling you. Um, it can get really ugly. All right, and you can go from a happy person to someone that's very depressed and scared out of your mind because, you know, for the most part, you did this. Okay, so a lot of times people have to own their shit. You did this due to, you know, you wanted what you wanted. You know, you sit up here and you know partaking in these rituals to um get this person you know and you really got them up here all right i'm not gonna say the heart because you love somebody you're not trying to hurt them you love somebody you're not trying to kill them and take them out all right but they end up getting a stronghold a spiritual stronghold to that's hard for them to shake all right and this stronghold is very negative it's very negative and um that person can go from you know um being drawn to you because that's really what you wanted you want to draw them to you they can go from being drawn to you to being obsessed with you and then when you get tired of them because they're too clingy they're around too much whatever the case may be then you want back then you want them to back out but for some reason it's hard for them to back out you know it's, it's like this spell is over them you know it, it's got them to where they can't see straight and then they get to where they want to take you out they want they want to kill you for whatever reason due to this so-called spiritual stronghold that's over them so i say all of this family be careful. Be careful out here when it comes to, you know, going to people and, um, you know, you're seeking help, trying to get someone attention. You know, you want them to love you. Yeah, they're going to love you all right. They're going to love you to death. You know, there's also a ritual that's called praying. But a lot of people don't really want to exercise that because that requires faith. It requires you to, you know, be patient and be still. But a lot of people don't want to exercise that, okay? And what upsets me more, a lot of my brothers and sisters don't value themselves. They don't see themselves as the prize. They see that individual as the prize. And they want them so much that... They are willing to rush the process, okay? And seek out people like myself and others uh, that can help them, they, they, you know, 
to steer them in in the to let me get my, my words together. They seek out people like myself and others to help them t- as far as them getting what they want. All right, and that's the individual. All right, that person is the prize. They got their eye on, and they don't want to be patient. They want what they want. Okay, I had one woman come to me. And anybody who comes to me, what they say is it, it, confidential. Okay, so I'm not gonna say no names or nothing like that. I, I just want to make a just a, an example. One woman came to me and. Um, she wanted what she wanted, okay? Uh, somebody from her past, you know, that she had connected with, and she wanted to get with this individual, but this individual was married. But she wanted, she wanted what she wanted, okay? And that's a lesson that she's gonna have to learn for herself, okay? I'm not judging her. She's gonna have to learn this lesson for herself. But the fact that she wasn't getting what she wanted, okay? Because she came to me for a relationship rating, but the fact that she wasn't getting what she wanted, uh, she wanted to know, um, did I know any spell work, okay? Um, and I know what time it was. When people come to me with things like that, I know what time it is, okay? I don't judge them, but I see for what it is, okay? This one is very, very thirsty. They want what they want, okay? By, by any means, cause. And um, she wanted to know, um, did I know of any spell work, okay? And even if I didn't know what I wouldn't share with her because she would use it for evil. She wouldn't use it for good, okay? And I have to be mindful of what I put out there and what I say because then I'm reliable, okay? Me giving you information that's not going to serve you, um, that's my karma, okay? I have to be my sister's keeper, my brother's keeper, and I have to do right by my brothers and sisters, okay? So if I see that you're someone that's very, very desperate and your intentions are not that quite pure, Hell to the no, I'm not going to share that information with you, okay? I know certain things, all right, but even the things that I do know, I'm not even going to partake in it because karma got something for you. That whatever you put out there, the, em- the energy, when it goes out, it has to come back to you. But how do you want it to come back to you? Do you want it to come back to you in a negative way or a positive way? One's tensions must be pure and righteous and good, okay? You can't think negative about somebody and expect for it to come back to you in a positive way. No, okay? It doesn't work that way. Um, you can't get mad at somebody and one who kind of want to do rituals on them, you know, and don't think that, you know, you really hurting yourself and don't think that that boomerang ain't not gonna come back on you. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, it's coming. When you think not, it's coming. And they're gonna hit you to where it's gonna hurt, okay? She had her reasons why she wanted to know if I knew any spell work. Uh, by the time it was, um, she knew that man was married and you know, she wanted what she wanted, all right? But there is no way that I would share so-called rituals or spell works with her and she would use that in a negative light to want to hurt somebody just because she, she wants somebody out the way so she can have them. See, that's not love. Where there's love, there's no competition. Remember that, family. One must be in their heart space. And energy needs to flow naturally. It cannot be rushed. Okay? There are consequences to rushing energy. <laughs> but a lot, of, a lot of people don't care for the stagnation. They don't care for the stagnation. Okay? They want what they want. They don't want to be patient and be still, and that's the problem. Getting back to the readings that I have done, not all of them, but many of these females, okay? If you look at them, you would think they got it going on, all right? If you look at them, you would think they got it going on. I almost saw a wreck. But anyway, if you look at these females, you think they got it going on, all right? Um, they getting all this work done to they, you know, breasts, is making them bigger. Want to change something about them because they see something about themselves they don't like, so they want to improve it. They get all this butt, butt work done, okay? And they're out here doing whatever whatever it is that they do to make their money. That's their business, okay? But the thing I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make is, you know, these same women want what they want. They want these men with the, with the bag, okay? And they try to get them by every mean necessary, whatever it takes. So. They get involved in witchcraft and, you know, ritual and ritual work, okay? And I, like I said, all rituals are not negative, but it's, it's one intentions. And the unthinkable happen. They go missing. They go missing. And when I do the read on these females, the background just of it, yeah, 
I, I'm always seeing spell work in there. If it's not the man doing spell work to get the woman, it's the woman doing spell work to get the man, but it backfires because somebody becomes very obsessed over the other and you can't get rid of them. They start stalking you, harassing you, and you know the rest. <sighs> Be careful, family, okay? Love yourself. Be patient with the process. What's for you is for you. You don't have to be out here rushing and trying to get someone attention. You know, if if they want you, they will, you know, um, give you a sign or, you know, make the move. Don't rush it, family. You know, pray about what you want, and if it's the will of the Most High God, for you to be this individual, the Most High God will set it up, okay? It would be in alignment, okay, with your purpose, also with your vibration, okay? Because you don't want you don't want anybody in your space that's not in alignment of your purpose, because they can sabotage you, okay? Anybody you let get close to you, that's not for your highest good, okay? They can sabotage you, and the power they be. Okay, can use anybody to sabotage you, and that's the ones you let get close to you. Okay, they, they don't have no good intentions towards you. They're jealous of you. They're envious of you, and for whatever reason, you know, um, they can just sabotage you for whatever reason. Okay, so just be mindful. Take your time. Okay, stop rushing and um, be still. That's my message for many of you. Stop rushing and be still. And while you're being still, love you. Do right by you, okay? Treat you good. Treat you so good in a way that when you meet the individual, okay, they're going to say, okay, you can step over. I got this. And when they say they got this, they're going to treat you the same way you've been treating yourself because you love yourself and you value yourself and you honor yourself. And you're going to draw somebody to you, attract somebody to you that honor and love you the same way you love yourself. That's how that works. You're not rushing, okay? Trust in the most high God divine plan for your life. You get it out of your own way and you're letting go and you're letting God. All right? I just wanted to share that. And there's nothing wrong with going to people as far as if you're seeking relationship reading. There's nothing wrong with that. But you start taking it to a whole nother level, you know, spell work and all of this, trying to, you know, to get somebody, you know, family. Just know, sometimes that shit can backfire on you and not in a good way. Oh, they're going to love you all right. Love you to death. <laughs>